Dobro jutro Ajax Eden, oftewel goedemorgen in het Servies. We zijn vandaag in Belgado voor een bezoek aan een hele bijzondere Ajax Eden. Hij speelde maar één seizoen in Amsterdam, maar groeide door zijn positiviteit, doelgerichtheid en lange haren uit tot een echte publiekslieveling. We hebben het natuurlijk over Marco Pantelic. Marco, good to see you, man. How are you? you? Fine, yes? very nice. Welcome to Belgrade. Thank please. you, man. Uh, it's so good to be here. Um, I must say, you've only played one season for Ajax, but for us Ajax fans, you have a special place in our hearts. So for me, it's very, it's an honor to be here, honor to be in your city, Belgrade. Thank you very much. You look, I must say, you look as well very good. Where's the, <laughs> but where's the long hair? The hair was going with the river. <laughs> Right now we are in the place where is the crossing the two rivers. One is the Sava, second is the Danube. And uh, this is a place where Belgrade was born. So on this uh, crossing the two rivers and then it start to build. We meet here because here everything is start for Belgrade. Here is a monument of the winners. The guy with the bird in one hand and with the soul in the other hand. So. For us is uh, like this. We can be peaceful, but we can also fight. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up over there. This is uh, like uh, yeah? over, yeah, there, yeah. over there in the new in the new Belgrade. How this was is... it uh, growing up in uh, Belgrade? Nice. You know, every city has his uh, good and uh, bad things. <laughs> I was a little bit uh, with a tough character and problematic when I was a kid, but uh, then after that, when I uh, everything comes on the normal, you know. Always so, playing football? Yes, always, always. I was captain of Red Star from uh, nine years until when I leave, until 15 and a half. Then I leave to the Greece, to Iraqli Salonik, and after that to Paris Saint-Germain. Belgrade is a very sympathetic old town. For me, I, this is a town what I like mostly in my, uh, in my life. And this is a town where I born and uh, I hope I will die here. So, uh, um, not, not too soon. Not, not, not too soon. Not too soon. <laughs> okay, we, then we, we never know so when, yeah, when your day will come, but I, uh, I don't hope uh, that it will be soon. Ciao, ciao, si dobar. This is also where they train? Yes, here, the, here is training the, the first squad of Red Star. This is a this is a famous tunnel of Red Star, uh, and uh, from here this is a dressing room. So you can see visiting team, uh, home team, and uh, there is a graffiti, graffiti, you know, of our fans. There is a graffiti of uh, our club and uh, what is saying "Sviu uh, napad." That means all in attack and also the flag inside of uh, Serbians is the flag of Belgrade, you know. This is who we are actually. Welcome to the fortness, uh, what you can never win. <laughs> I always say, first I have a love uh, to Red Star and uh, then to my parents. <laughs> they, uh, my, father, my father brings me with uh, when I was two. He brings me first time on the stadium. His father was also a big fan of uh, Red Star and uh, he put uh, this in our blood. And uh, always when I say yes, mama and papa, but I, I first was loving Red Star and uh, my family. I know it's not the truth, but... Uh, <laughs> 
this is something amazing. So you are walking here and you, and you, and you feel something is going up on you. Ba, 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 ba. So everything is crashing. You think this will crash or what, you know? So when you, when you are walking here, this is, this is something amazing. So how deep you are coming, so deep your hair is doing like this, like a woofer on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this is, uh, this is something amazing. So welcome here to our fortness. This is when uh, was here was playing the biggest player in Europe and uh, the biggest team in Europe. But believe me, for no one was easy. You know, when you see the tribune like this, 25,000, 15,000 people before when it doesn't was a city, it was 25, 30,000 of the people here. But after with the seats, but when you see that everyone is singing like a one, but not singing, this is from the stomach. He's giving from the stomach all complete energy what he gives. How you cannot give on the field? Yeah. So yeah. You, are, you are giving and you are not asking, you know? And you are, play, you are playing until your last breath, what you have. You, and then you take it again breath and then you again running. So. I think that helped me also, and this my uh, growing up, and uh, these people, and this fantastic stadium, and these fantastic fans, they uh, helped me a lot when I uh, came after that in the Europe, and because of that I understand and what uh, Ajax mean, and uh, it was not uh, so hard for me to adapt to all the situation. But without this club and without this fans, I'm nobody and uh, nothing. We know everyone what is Ajax and we know every, everyone uh, what Ajax meant. Uh, not uh, only uh, for the fans of Ajax, but in the world. So Ajax is a club uh, with one of the biggest tradition. Uh, Ajax is a club uh, who is very proud. Ajax fans is expecting always the best, always the most important uh, role for uh, Ajax in Europe, in the domestic league. Uh, but also uh, is expecting to see uh, Lionheart on the field. So I knew it everything. I knew it what uh, responsibility brings uh, Ajax like a club. And uh, this is what is, uh, on the end, uh, bring me in the Ajax. So I'm very happy. This is the club uh, where I uh, can uh, fight for, uh, you know, for uh, up of the bell. And uh, I come here because uh, I like to win. And uh, uh, I think then I can do that uh, with Ajax. What kind of striker are you? Uh, uh, I already say the, the the striker who likes to win. On this question, I start to laugh. Uh, why? Because I knew it. I will bring that to the Ajax, and not that much more. The big chief, Martignol, is was a one uh, uh, man who really knows. Uh, what is the best for his team. And uh, I think uh, he was uh, very clever <laughs> to bring me. He needs me like uh, last uh, piece of his puzzle for uh, making something huge. They start with another few game where was uh, a little bit, uh, not a little bit, a lot of uh, complaints uh, on me and uh, I, I didn't came uh, in the game and I didn't score three goals. If I score three goals, everyone will say, ah, oh, top. But uh, I didn't do that. The thing what it changed everything, it was first game against Feyenoord. It's also a game where I didn't score. And it's also a game where uh, if you ask Martin Yol now and uh, if you ask Blind, who was a uh, second coach, I think they will change me after uh, 35 minutes. 
at that time, uh, they took me like a miss. So, on the game uh, against Feyenoord, I remember we was on the zone, so we was waiting for a defender to to take a ball out, and uh, I was on the one central defender, so. The, the other one, central defender, he moved forward and he take a pass. Uh, and he shoot from 40 meters. And the ball clutched the post. So I see the, I see the blind who is coming out from a, from a bench and he say to me, Marco, keep it, keep it the player, say. But you didn't expect him to shoot for 40 no, meters. No, but how I am I, I going to keep two players? You know, the yeah. guy is moving, you know, and they say, how I will keep two players, you know? But it was uh, my uh, body language. It was not what I uh, need to do, but at that time, you know, you are, you are not, uh, you cannot be focused on what you're going to say. So, at that time, I wanted to come to the bench and to say, uh, sorry, Lin, I didn't mean it, but uh, it's not possible. Then I keep two players. If he move a few meters on the left, few meters on the right, it's not possible. You know, the they, they the need game. someone else to come to, to close that. But it was like that. So uh, it's happened what happened. And I uh, see then uh, Martin uh, took uh, the player for a uh, uh, for warming up, I say okay. At the best case, uh, at the best scenario, I have uh, maybe 20 minutes until to the half time, and uh, then I my then my episode in uh, Ajax is finished. I'm not the kind of guy who will uh, uh, let the things go, so I will fight. I say okay, now you're going to fight like a crazy 20 minutes. So what God give you, He give you. That's it. So I took the ball and I saw that the Zeu is running inside. The Zeu was on the right place at the right time and we have a 1-0 against Feyenoord. Nice. I was just uh, staying, I didn't even run. I don't know why. I just was staying and I say, OK, now is a 1-0. So what now? What a moment! On so far for rust, toch! The ruimte in the wedstrijd to pack. Pantelic. Emanuel Welsom. Emanuel Welsen zorgt gewoon voor 2-0 in deze wedstrijd. Thans Ajax, goed aan Ajax. Het is niet te weerstaan, de overmacht. We kunnen hem of doen als een of andere krullenjongen, maar dat is natuurlijk niet zo. En daarom ben ik blij dat hij bij drie goals betrokken was en dat hij meer waarde heeft gehad dan, uh, dan eigenlijk... Uh, Sinds Kluivert is dat geweest en, en ja, ik hoop niet dat wij uh, of de mensen uh, om ons heen het, hem te moeilijk maken. Want dat is ook lastig, want hij kan zo naar Hertha, want die willen hem dolgraag terug hebben, want die kennen hem namelijk wel. De eerste ding wat ik deed toen ik naar de dressing room kwam, was ik heel erg blind. En ik was nog steeds met dit... Negative feeling in my stomach. I wanted to, uh, to excuse uh, about my uh, body language, but then Blind came and he hugged me and he said to me, "You have right. Sorry. No, you sorry. No, no, Marco, you sorry. <laughs> no, Blind, please. Sorry, my body language. Marco, I make first. That's so, nice." He is a big gentleman and uh, really I hope he will watch and uh, I just want to give my regards and uh, for everything what we spent together and without uh, him and uh, Martignol and a lot of people over there, we will never have uh, so nice, nice moments uh, together. So one more time, thank you. Blind and sorry for this uh, body language at that time.
you still play a lot, like uh, to stay fit? Uh, once per week, I cannot, I, I can't uh, because ah, of my on, knees, uh, uh, back and everything, once per week. Once per week? Yes. Well, all these guys are younger, huh? Yes. Once per week and, uh, and I'm uh, good and I go some small trainings at my house, some in the park and uh, just to have some activities. I think in academies like uh, in Ajax, the kids, they need to play from 13, 14, even until a uh, young team, 21, they need to play once per week uh, small football in South. But with everything like this, ah, because, because it's different technique. It is different technique and different movement, and uh, everything is different. And when he scores 10 times on the small field, then he will understand, oh, when I score in the small field, while we score in the big field, also the same. Marco! Nico me nije ovo liko nahvalio, brat. On the best player. This is one of the biggest ex-Yugoslavia player. But ex-Yugoslavia player. So, he played in Partizan. You remember the... You remember the dribble over the head? Yeah, yeah. You know? He was doing that on the games. But not one time in the... Not one time in 1984. Not one time in 10 games. He's doing every time. He's playing in Nitz and in the Hanover uh, at the <laughs> One of the biggest Yugoslavian players. Football with quality, yes, I bring that to Ajax. And the goals, assist, we were seeing. But that things what you cannot see and what is very important for a club and for a dressing room and for an atmosphere and for a players what they are inside. So when you bring in these players, it's not important just that he is a very good player. It's important how and what is what kind of his character it is. Everything around it, like uh, everything, everything is important, yeah. especially in the in the club. Uh, what is uh, Ajax and the name? What Ajax brings? Because everyone who is Ajax, they think they are best players in the world. Yeah, that's true. So, uh, and they're so, on their way to so become... much characters and everything, and then, then you are coming someone who is young player, and you say, "I am the best player in the world." And then he sees some Marco Pantelic, and he yeah, says, "What? You know, he doesn't respect you. So you need to earn the respect from this young player, and he need to follow you and yeah. follow these steps what you are making." So Marco, what are you doing these days? Like, how is life now? More or less, uh, my uh, life is depending of uh, my family. So the the things what I uh, do for them and uh, they do for me. So you have two daughters, right? Two uh, daughters. Yes, so two why? daughters. Uh, the older daughter lives in Berlin now uh, because of the studies. For a parents always is difficult, you know, you need to let yeah. your kids go, but... Uh, but you can know as well, because you went on a young age also to I live know, by but yourself. It, it, I know how it was for me, it was not easy, no. but uh, yes, it not was easy. But I didn't have a internet, I didn't have a cell phone, I didn't have a social media. Even I didn't speak any language. Uh, Except uh, Serbia, <laughs> but I learn everything on the on the road. So this is a church, and there is a very important church, and all this is uh, uh, about our church. Yeah. You always do. Uh, yes, uh, when, I, when I uh, cross the church, yes.
tako nas vreme. Da mogli smo izaći ovaj... Ispred, pa da. Da nije kiše, gore Vidikovac. A, pa... Na kupolu, pa da vidimo, ima i zvezni stadion, se vidi jako lijepo i to. Da, da, da. A sad ovaj, ne znam... Pa, dobro. Kiša je ovaj, nije baš najbolje vreme. So welcome to the church of St. Sava. As you can see, it's a very big church. So as a people, we are proud about it because it is our national project somehow. How important is religion for you? For me, it's very important. I think also and for my, uh, for my people. Uh, we all build uh, on uh, religion and this is some of the tough grounds uh, of our life and the families and everything. I don't know how to live without uh, religion, you know, and uh, this is the same, like you ask me, how is important really Marco for you or my father or my mother? This is how is important the religion for me. Goedemiddag, welkom in de Gelderdoom hier in Arnhem. Ajax moet vanmiddag winnen hier van Vitesse. Het was voor ons een heel belangrijk game. Het kwam na het derby. Oké, okay, we winnen, uh, we komen closer to de tabel, maar Vitesse was heel goed. En het uh, was heel belangrijk dat we winnen in Vitesse. Dus so, uh, we kwamen op het game en we beginnen te verliezen 1-0. Green. Lastig voor Stegelenburg. Is dit de kans voor Vitesse? Jawel, het is al een doelpunt voor Vitesse. Wat een start voor de ploeg van Theo Bos. Ik herinner me dat ik plus en ik zei, come on, come on, let's do it, come on. En uh, Luis niet Engels spreekt. Ik zei, wat? Ik zei tegen hem, vamos, ora, vamos. Oké, okay, vamos. Van de Leach, goede aanname, goede controle en meteen de goal. Hele fraaie treffer van Marco Pantelic. Pantelic voor zijn tweede. Jawel. Marco Pantelic. After the second goal, we took the ball, Luis Suarez and me. We took the ball from the defenders. Oh, wat een fout zeg. En nu gaat Suarez op weg naar uh, 3-1. En we was running two against one against goalkeeper. So it was a situation simple. Just to give me and I will score on the uh, free goal, you know, but it's 2-1 still, it's not 5-1, uh, you know. Suarez, wat wacht je lang? Nou, schiet hem naar... Oh! Onvoorstelbaar! Hij wordt uh, gek van zichzelf nu. Ja, Pantelis, die uh, had er ook graag zijn derde gemaakt. You cannot see, but you can ask the other one, what was my reaction when I came in the dressing room? And what was the reaction of other players? And from that time, Luis understand when we play together. So... From that time, from that game, uh, our relation was changed. He started to respect me and my way of the game, and that brings to the to the club a lot of success. And this season, I think we scored 106 goals. Pantelic, daar is zijn derde. Ajax slaat toe vijf minuten na rust. Suarez, nu moet hij hem wel geven. Eerste balcontact voor Kennedy Bakir Choglu, en het is 1-4. Hij zat die. Heel fraai ingeschoten. Ajax wint met 5-1 in Arnhem. Suarez scoorde niet. Opvallend. Pantelis drie keer. Three different goals also from you. One header, one individual action and one, well, on speed. I saw Pantelis on speed. <laughs> Why you don't think I cannot do on the speed? <laughs> no, I am. I don't know. I think you're more a killer than a speedy guy. <laughs> no, no, I am. I am the guy who also know to play on the speed. So you didn't see all my goals, but uh, never mind. Uh, I, I have so many critics in Holland. Then I, uh, then I in one, in once I were before one month I was think then I, I am not the same guy. I, I think I forget to play football. Or nobody knows to me in the Europe how I was criticized. But uh, never mind. Uh, is a lie. Is football, it's normal. You need to prove yourself and you need uh, to show to everyone and you need to earn your uh, respect. It's always the same when you want to change the uh, country and the club. <laughs> and this you can earn not to fight in the dressing room, not to be macho or something or to come with the best clothes or with the, I don't know, 
Porsche or Mercedes or I don't know what or with a watch from one million, you need to f you need to show to the pitch. So you need to fight when you need to fight. You need to score when you need to score. You need to tackle when you need to tackle. So you need to show all what you have in your stomach. Emanuelson, Pantelic, Pantelic moet eigenlijk ook scoren. Nou, dat doet hij dan ook. Hij zat hier geen buitenspel voor Pantelic. Pantelic. En schieten, dat moet dan met rechts, maar dat kan hij ook. En ook de dank natuurlijk naar Pantelic. Pantelic, knap gedraaid. Pantelic doet het weer zelf. En dat doet hij, ik kan niet anders zeggen, buitengewoon fraai. Time to eat. Let's sit down. Let's sit down. Always healthy, huh? I see yes. salad. <laughs> enjoy. How do you say enjoy your meal? Like uh, bon appetit? Priyatna. Priyatna. Yes. Priyatna. And after this, uh, na, na zdravje. Na zdravje. Na yes. Zdravje. This is with the drinks. More important. <laughs> More important, huh? <laughs> What I saw is that you always shoot low and always. with a bounce. It's no? not a low. It's uh, between. It's with a bounce. But why? Because it's difficult to reach for the keeper, I saw. Because you always shoot almost as well on the keeper. Yes, but why? Uh, where? Where I'm shooting? Like next Ex to him, like yes. low next to him, so he cannot. The, when the ball is coming until ankle and your knee, how he will make reaction? He has to push. How? How? How is possible to push? He, he pushes can't. everything. He, he can't. can't. He, 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 the reaction he can make with the knee maybe, yeah, yeah. or with the foot. But if he's coming here, he cannot make reaction. No. So uh, this is. This is where the goalkeeper cannot make reaction and sometimes in the modern football I won't drive crazy when I see the strikers they doesn't they miss some chances like this because they are not thinking they are not in the focus there they cannot make, uh, do reaction and here here the goalkeeper cannot save here mm -hmm. how he will make him he can save here 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 but he cannot save here if you are close to him shoot on your on his head The big derby, Red Star Partizan. You won many times, you scored many goals. I, How is it to play a game like this? The derby is something special. I, I don't know if uh, somewhere is a derby like this. So in Holland is different derby, but you don't have a fans from other and from... Yeah, it's uh, different cities. It's different cities. Here is the same city. We have a 500 meters stadium to the stadium. And uh, the derby is something what you're living. You are not sleeping one week before and you are not sleeping one week after that. You don't have a dreams, you don't have nothing. You just have this game in the head. I was came here on the 16 meters. I just show my, uh, my public behind, you know, and I, I was watching the goalkeeper and you know where I shoot. Evo Žigića. Ponovo lopta ka Panteliću, Pantelić šansa i 1-0. 1-0 za crvenu zvezdu, Marko Pantelić. I was watching the goalkeeper and I wanted to shoot near to his leg. And I shoot here and the ball passed and it was behind his back in the, in the net. And I was running here to the to this uh, fantastic uh, crowd and uh, I just came and... Uh, I wanted to give my heart, you know. This was uh, one of uh, my uh, favorite goals in the career. Also, we just finished all that we donated. It was a great discussion. We just finished all the pictures. But how it looks, a beautiful thing, a beautiful thing, something Church always has a very important role in our national identity, but in our personal life. As you can see sometimes, and it's a specific gesticulation that we have across there like this, and you can see our dear friend <laughs> making a cross when he goes to play, and we are very proud about it. It symbolizes that uh, Everything has a sense when we are dedicated 
to our family as Marco is and your people and of course you understand that everything comes from God and that he is actually the real ruler and we are only players here <laughs> but some of us are very good players yes. and some are not as good as they could be but church helps us to be as good as we can um, be in this uh, life there was another big serbian player with us yes. captain dusan tadic Yes, uh, he came in, in the very good time when the, in Ajax understand that uh, we need an older player. So uh, he make a uh, good uh, representation of uh, himself, of uh, our country, of talent, what we have here. And uh, he lead Ajax to some amazing wins and some uh, amazing results. We need all to respect what he achieved in uh, Ajax. So I want to speak with you about you being a, some sort of cult hero in Amsterdam. There is a podcast named after you. Did you know this? I know. The Pantelis podcast. Yes. What do you think of this? Like so many years after you're gone and you only played one year, but still. I uh, need to say, first of all, thank you. Yes, I am proud, but thank you uh, on all these uh, positive things and what is remaining behind me. The title, like you say, uh, of a cult hero, it's something uh, really big and uh, high, and I'm really uh, proud on that. First match in the Beker Finale 2009-2010. There is it 2-0, and it is weer de Jong. 2-0. It's a good outgangsposition for Ajax, but beslist is it nog niet. Dwaris en het schot en meteen het doelpunt. Het is 1-0 voor Ajax. De Jong voor 0-2. Ja, Sim de Jong. Ajax wint de KVB-beker. Dat uh, leek al duidelijk na de wedstrijd in Amsterdam. Dat was na drie minuten vandaag al beslist. De KVB-beker 2009-2010 gewonnen door Ajax. Really nice moment what he was making and uh, this cup. Uh, what we win, it was like uh, when you have some uh, delicious uh, cake, but on the top of this, this cake is some strawberry or something like that. It was very nice that because uh, our fans cannot be in uh, Rotterdam, so they wait for us in uh, in arena and we celebrate. We celebrate all the year. After this fantastic season, you decide to leave. Why? No, I didn't decide to leave. <laughs> I'm the man of uh, my world. I will never go back. Doesn't matter if deal, this deal is good for me or not good for me in a year or in six months or, or in two years. If I shake a hand and I agree, or something, I accept that and I will continue. So after the 10 months, let's say, I think it was even less. But the people in Ajax, they call me and uh, they discuss about the contract. I had said, what? We doesn't have nothing to discuss. I come one year, so 10 months, to help you. And uh, you was not sure if is that really for uh, your club or not for your club, but I, I come to help you and uh, uh, I can't lose nothing for 10 months, you can't lose nothing for 10 months. But after that year we agree also if is everything uh, all right, then we will sign the contract for four years. So in Ajax they offer me one year again the contract say no, then they came with another offer, uh, uh, one year plus one year, I say no. <laughs> and then they say with another option, uh, one plus one plus one plus one, I say, guys, we are not in kindergarten, we are not talking, you know with who you are talking, so you can accept what was on the table or not. We 
signed now four years contract or we shake our hands and I leave. Martin came and he said, do you want to stay? I said, yes, I want to live here. And after the career, I, uh, I will buy the house and I will stay here. And he watched me like, this. why don't stay? Martin, I have my word. If I say something, I do this. Sometimes it's better to live on the nice way, because we, on the end, we live with nice way and with the uh, shaking hands and with this, what we say, strawberry, <laughs> what we yeah, yeah, yeah. have, uh, and uh, with the fantastic season. And now, 13 years after, we are sitting together, the people like, they see me, they like to, to hear what I have to say. and. Uh, and with always with some uh, nice uh, emotions, the people will accept my name in uh, Amsterdam and uh, my emotions, I don't think that I need to express you already. So, so what I feel about Ajax. I am very proud of everything, what I did for my country and for my club. And on the end, uh, I'm very proud and how I uh, make my career outside of my country, so in Hertha, Ajax, Olympiakos, Paris Saint-Germain, Celta Vigo, everywhere where I was, Lausanne Sport, but Sturm Graz, everywhere where I was. As a final gesture, I brought you two little uh, gifts from Amsterdam. Thank you. Uh, those are the two jerseys, uh, because you. we know that you have Two daughters. Thank you. They will be so, very uh, happy for sure. Their name is. You can. You can look. The names are in the back, and ah. uh, of course with the uh, number nine. Great. Just like. Uh, Thank you very. The killer striker of their dad. So. Thank you very much. So they will be very happy. Ajax is a part of uh, my life, and uh, not just my life. The people uh, who knows me, because uh, always when we. Uh, talking and remembering some uh, memories we are remembering also and Ajax and this nice period what I have and uh, these memories when it's so nice and when it's so positive then you are happy then you are uh, positive thank you Marco forever thank you. Uh, Ajax thank Euro you. and please give big regards to all in Ajax to Ajax supporters Thank you one more time, very powerful and with a uh, lot of uh, success and victories. So now we can uh, drink, we don't play anymore. <laughs> Is uh, watching Netflix? Uh, maybe. This is a uh, Serbian schnapps. What you say in Serbian language? You say uh, Serbian raki. Please let go on the field. <laughs> so let's go on the field. You need to drink from once, huh? This is Hollywood, my friend. Oh. <laughs> Patience. It's uh, afternoon, so it's afternoon, so you, they, you can drink. In Germany, they will say geduld. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's the same. Yeah, it's the same. Yeah. You will tell me how you feel after a few minutes. Oh, clean. <laughs> nice. Yes. He, he can bring you the air, huh? Wow. A little bit. So this is uh, like uh, first welcome and then uh, you will have another. So. Thank you. <laughs> no, <sir>. <laughs> <laughs>